guys, this is Eric Guys Sport Fishing and I'm going to review this striped stripe bass lure. So before I review this, I'll put this right here, right guys? Um, I recommend using this kind of lines, hard lines, no 4 pound lines, forget about that stuff. Um, 6 pound line, I would recommend using fish to about 18 inches to 28 inches. About 20 pound fish and then more, let's say even upper class, about... Let's see if you're going fish for 40 inches, 80 pound fish, 100 pound fish, 20, um, 20 pound line and above would work great. Both lines work great with this lure, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, whatever. Let's go back to the fish. Uh, why I recommend using this artificial lure instead of using other um, artificial lures is because this fish is great. I've caught about 8 fish with this, 8 striped bass, good sizes. I've got 18 inches with this, I've got 20 inches with this, I've got 6 inches with this. Um, my recent fish with this was from Castake Lake, and the company that made this is Castake, and I made from, it caught from Castake Lake. Um, I don't remember how many pounds it was, but I'm gonna say it was about, I didn't take the inches, but I take measurement, but I'm gonna say it was about, about, um, 14 inches long, yeah, about 14, um, a few weeks ago, the, um, you can see it's already used, kind of wearing off, doesn't matter, let's say it wears off, fish don't really care about the color, um, does work, has a hard, um, heavy tail, hell helps it go down, swim really good, uh, I would recommend using this lure, has a nice hook up, round and catch, hook your fish, pull your rod back, um, and besides that, the detail is pretty good. This part looks like a real trout. Strap, strap bass come from above. They're like, mmm, tasty fish. Um, and besides that, I don't know who would use a lower line than six. See, it's pretty much unbreakable. I have, I have the line right here. It's tucked, I don't know if you can see, but pretty much unbreakable. Um, I use six pound lines at Castig. I've never tried this lure at a California Aqueduct, but at the California Aqueduct, we use 20 pound lines and above because there's some big mamas out there. And last we went there, um, it was last week, yeah, it was last week. And I have a video on my channel, you can check it out. Um, one of them, it was a full video of, me ca of us catching, we threw it back because it wasn't 18 inches, but the other one was about 24 inches, and it's a third, it's like, a, it's like an 8 second video of me like sharing the fish, and I caught it with night crawlers, oh, it was a keeper, the other one we like, oh, you'll see the video, we'll let it go. but we were using um, night crawlers, yeah, you tell that, yeah, um, so that's about it, and please check out my channel, please subscribe, and don't forget, new bishop california video coming so if you don't know where bishop california is um it's a really good place in the highest of sierras mount located near mount whitney and near yosemite it has several creeks and the place i usually go is bishop california oh my god bishop california i want to say bishop creek um lone pine creek independence creek owens river upper owens river i've not really try the lakes, but I've heard that Crowley Lake is really good. I've went to Mono Lake, caught a few trout, but I couldn't stand the lakes. I really hate lakes. I don't really like lake fishing. If I know there's a creek there, I'm going to creek fishing. Me and my dad, like a minimum, of, like a minimum limit of fish we catch is 15. We came back about fifth with 50 fish from Bishop. Um, oh yeah, and I forgot to say Pleasant Valley Creek. Uh, I don't go to the reservoir, no. There's, it, it becomes a creek, and then it falls into a reservoir, like a big reservoir. Um, my dad's friends go there, but we don't go there. We go until the end of the reservoir, and then come back. So you know, we don't fish at the reservoir, we just fish at the creek. And it's really good. With lures, uh, mm, it's really good. I would recommend you guys trying there. But other than that, Eric I Sport Fishing signing out, and thank you for watching my video.